Okay, Gemini, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your monthly forecast for April, April for the sign of Gemini. So the cards that it is that I have pulled for you are Divine Passion. Um, ignore this little, um, you know, wax right here. This is from a candle that I was doing when I was working on Passion magic on my altar like years ago but I loved it it's a reminder of like that moment which is so powerful but it is what it is okay and then the next few cards are from nature oracle and it's the tulip trust your efforts and then ferns new wonders and then the from the rider weight we have two of wands we have nine of cups and then page of cups So the first thing that it is that I'm getting, I don't know why this is, but I just see you feeling like a bit of an outsider. I don't know why that is. I think it's kind of triggered from this two of wands. So as you guys know, um, or if you don't know, let me go ahead and explain. So basically how the tarot works for me is I'll see a card, I'll hear a message, or it'll trigger a vision for me by looking at the card, and that's what it is that I'm seeing. Even though the two of wands doesn't always represent well, it usually doesn't represent feeling like an outsider. That's what it is that I'm kind of seeing here and feeling. It's this energy of um, comparison. In fact, the quote that just came through for me is comparison is the thief of joy. And again, it's like this lack mentality, like I am not where I wanna be, I, am, I don't fit in, I don't know where I'm headed, I don't know where I'm going, I don't know who's gonna trust in me, I don't know if this is going to happen. Um, and the reason why these things are so important, even as I'm looking at these cards, I see the Two of Wands looking at the Nine of Cups. And again, the Nine of Cups is the wish fulfilled and everything that it is that you want and how sensitive this space is for you and how soft and vulnerable this space is for you. It's because it's something that it is that you truly want. Now, I can't, I can't tell if this is in relationships or career for you, but again, it's this comparison. It's this, maybe you're not comparing yourself to others, but, or maybe, maybe you're comparing comparing yourself to a standard. Maybe it's an expectation that it is that you want for yourself and that's where this, I don't wanna say hate talk is, this negative self-talk or talking of, out of hate. And I hope you're not using words of hate to describe yourself or to talk to yourself, but either way, what I really want to say to you for the month of April is that you don't have to prove yourself to anybody. You really don't have to prove yourself to anyone. There is nothing that you need to become. And I put in the words become. It's like, well, maybe if I do this, this will happen. Or maybe if I'm this, or maybe if I look this way, or maybe if I was more professional, or maybe if I was more articulate, maybe this would happen. The reality is, is that you don't need to do or become anything other than what it is that you currently are in order to receive everything that it is that you want point blank period. I should just stop the message right there and be like, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm out. I'll see you next month. But I want to, we're going to continue. We're going to go forward. Again, there is nothing that it is that you need to become. I see you when it comes to your passion, even at the bottom, it says, be honest with yourself. What is it that your heart truly desires? That is the nine of cups. That is the nine of cups. And what I see is, you know, you connecting and learning satisfaction for yourself and that has to come from within. That's that divine passion. That's what this is. It's because it is divine. It's divinely, if you didn't want it so badly, then it wouldn't, or you wanting it so badly is divine. And it's given to you by the divine because it is divine. And that is your heart's truest desires. And if that truly is the case, then you don't need to become anything other than it is that you are now in order to receive everything that it is that you want. Pardon the dog barking in the background, my neighbor has been letting the dog out and it's been barking a lot. Like I was saying before though, um, comparison is the thief of joy. I think that you should, for the month of April, what it is that I'm receiving and what it is that I'm seeing for you is actually focusing on what makes you different because those are the things that make you different and make you stand out from others. And those are the things that and then also what I see is you focusing on what it is that you can do versus what it is that you can't. And it, it brings me right back to the original quote that it was that I was saying, which is that, you know, comparison is the thief of joy. 
it, in reality, you don't want to do what everyone else is doing. You need to do what it is that you need to do in order to get what it is that is destined for you because it is there given to you by the divine. That feeling enough to call it and the fact that it exists is it shows you that this this thing, this relationship, this person, this job, this circumstance, this opportunity is um, is yours. It literally has your, your name written all over it. What I want you to do is to focus on that. Focus on what makes you different. Focus on what you can do versus what you can't. Um, that is the thing that is, that's going to be growing for you is this essence of what makes you different. The other thing is that you know, sometimes people, and I, maybe this is just me, I'll see something within the cards and I'm like, prove it, prove it that there's something on the horizon for me. If you are showing me that, if you see me looking out in the distance and you see how badly I want this, prove it, Tarot. Show me that, show me confirmation. And honestly, what I'm seeing with the, the ferns of new wonders and trust in, the, in your efforts, this is a seed that has already been planted. Maybe it's an intention that you spoke out. Maybe you're waiting. That's this card too, the two of wands. Maybe you're waiting for it to come in. Again, it could be love. It could be romance. It could be a creative project. It could be an offering, an invitation. Um, yes, everything's a go. Whatever it is, you have to trust in what you've already done. Don't stay in this space where you're kind of like looking through this glass and hoping and, you know, looking at others and seeing them get yeses or seeing them get engaged or seeing them, you know, succeed and get these, you know, um, scholarships or jobs or these contract deals or whatever the case is or recognition or reward and then look at yourself and be like, it's not coming. It is coming. It's just going to come for you in a way that is different in a way that it is that you deserve and that's what's going to open the door for you so i hope that that makes sense um sorry you guys for the dog barking in the background um you know i try to work with my environment but sometimes it can be a little hard but i hope that that message makes sense again Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and turn on your notifications so that you can see you know, uh, for, uh, further videos that I am posting on my YouTube channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.